Hey everyone, so here's two minutes on embalming from the outside in. And I mentioned this in a video and someone questioned me on it and said, what the heck do you mean by embalming from the outside in? Sometimes in certain situations, the vasculature is broken up inside an individual and we need to try to get the fluid in to preserve the tissue. We may hypodermically inject straight embalming fluid with small syringes or even with what looks like a small troll car hooked up to our machine that has a button to release the fluid as we put channels into, let's say into the leg of fluid so it can saturate out into the tissue. However, other areas that we might do this in is maybe sores on the body or open areas that the skin is opened from lesions or cuts or anything. And we'll do sometimes what are called packs, where we may take, um, this is a gel, and it is a formaldehyde-based gel. It's like a jelly, um, just to kind of show you what it looks like. And we will place this on the areas and then cover those areas with maybe some cotton or some like fabric or pressed pads. Uh, it's called Webrel. It's like a flattened piece of cotton. And then wrap that area in plastic. That's going to allow the fumes from that formaldehyde to soak into that area and help preserve what is going on in there. We may also use just straight fluid on a cotton pack under some plastic. We often will use maybe saran wrap to wrap around or some other type of plastic that we can encase that area of the body in a pack. I will sometimes do a humectant, which is a like a lotion-based <laughs> fluid, as I say on the lips, if the lips are super dry and emaciated, I'll put some cotton and pour a humectant based fluid. This is not humectant based over the lips, place a little plastic over and let that set for a while, even just during the rest of the embalming and take it off and that will have soaked in and helped rehydrate the lips. Sometimes we'll do a cavity pack so literally just cavity fluid on a pack so it's soaking in from the outside. So literally embalming from the outside in in scenarios where we need to preserve tissue that we can't get embalming fluid to from the inside. Mm -hmm.